Hello, how are you doing? This is Halo 4 Follower. Today we have a new map with a fly through. Details are released, gameplay of the map, a weird creature is shown, and much more. Here we have the fly through of the new map named Abandoned. The map is great for objective games. This is a 4v4 asymmetrical map, meaning both sides are not the same. The map apparently feels like it's much more for Regicide, Flood Mode, or Team Slayer, though Capture the Flag has been tuned for balance in this map. The map has a three story structure, meaning that the top gives you the golden lines of fire. However, there are many ways for people to approach you and possibly assassinate you. The second level consists of some interesting areas, you know, for ways to get on the bottom level and the top level and some good shooting areas. And the bottom level consists of much cover and ways to sneak around the map. Going on to the features of the map, so apparently there are these creepy little creatures right behind the lift that leads you upward. It is said that they are native to the planet and they were captured by the science team that used to work here. I notice here that there are many large tree formations outside, you know, next to the sunset and birds flying around it. Just amazing graphics. The map, of course, has equivalents in both sides, though the map was designed to have a few long firing shots and places to control with weapons like the sniper and binary rifle and the beam rifle you know get some team sniper custom games going on so this is where most of the wide open combat usually happens the middle of the map has a lift from the bottom level to the top the middle also has lots of structure forms as well however tunnels stick out from the center leading to very long hallways meeting from the middle level and the bottom level there's also a death point when walking off the edge the cliff leads off to a dark mysterious part of the you know level Abandoned takes place on Erebus 7. Now, Erebus 7 may not actually be called that. That's just kind of what I heard from IGN. So if you want to see the video for yourself, link is below. And the map is basically a science facility. They were trying to do research on what happened to this planet and something apparently happened to those who were trying to figure that out. At first glances, the map appears to be large and stretched out, but really it isn't. I imagine that this map is around the size of Isolation from Halo 3, though I may be completely wrong. In fact, I'm pretty sure I am. Though, this map reminds me of Halo 3's Guardian, to be honest, as well. And in fact, I'm sure if you look very hard out into the open, you'll see Halo 3's Guardian. I I I'm joking, by the way. The map obviously has been inspired by the planet it takes place on, so I'm assuming that these trees are lighting up, you know, naturally. But I gotta say that the map is <laughs> has a very creepy appearance, and I'm sure most of you would agree with me. The map also features small dust piles, not sure why I gotta point this out, but, you know, there's many ways for armor abilities to work on their own, different colored lightings on the ceilings in the map, and lots of cover from the structure side leading off to the less and less cover to the more open part of the map at, you know, of course, the very end. Well, that is it for the video, though we still have the comedic question, which is, what are your thoughts on Abandon? Do you like it? Hate it? Wish Guardian would replace it? Leave your response down below in the comment section. Of course, guys, be sure to like this video if you found it helpful or useful, and only if you did. This has been Chris, signing out.